Hello, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this cute little card. The story behind this card, when we were in Peterborough I bought the Bambi, Walt Disney Bambi one, which I made a really nice card, pretty card out of, and I sent it to my granddaughter so I can't show you it. But as my daughter saw me buy this, she got me Winnie Pooh. So I thought I'd make a card with Winnie Pooh. I actually made the Bambi one first. Exactly the same as this, except it was 6x6. Six six. And I put the Bambi on. So I thought I'd do the same with Winnie Pooh. So that's what we're going to do today. Just show you how I made it. Um, I've already cut Winnie Pooh out. He's here. Just got to colour him in. To do the background, I brushed... Peppers ass on the bottom and balmy blue at the top with some clouds. For the birds I used sailing home and I just used the birds bit. For the flowers I used a new stamp set under my umbrella and I'm going to be using some of the flowers. I think I've got these two out and we shall colour them in. So first of all, I've got a card blank of eight and a quarter by five and seven eight, scored at four and one eight, folded in half and burnished, which I've already done. A piece of card at three inches by five inches, and that is for the front. I also have a strip of white for the sentiment, which we will cut down when I've stamped it on. So to get started, put that where I can see it, move that to the side and we'll have this A scrap of paper. I'll colour that in in a minute but first we'll do the background. So we've got Pepper bears, and I've got some little clouds that are stuck on the ink, which I'm just going to stick anywhere randomly on my card. I can't get this little one off. I did have four, but needless to say, I've lost one, so let's make another one. All I did was get a piece of post-it note, rip off a bit of the sticky end and just cut myself a fluffy cloud. Um, I'll stick that one up there. There we are. Now, with the green peppers as and a brush, I'm going to pick up the ink and just ink up half of the table, at uh, the table, the card. We'll take a little while because this is quite a light ink. I think that would do for the grass. Clean my brush. Put it away and get out another one. 
and with balmy blue. Oh. We're gonna do the top half. As I've got a bit of blue on there, I am going to take these off and I'm just going to go over them just to take the white, bright white off them. Just give them a, a little bit of blue on them. That's fine. Clean my brush again. And put it away. Cleaning the brushes after I use them helps when I go to use them again, um, meaning I can use them for any colour. Right, I'll get rid of that for now. And now we're going to stamp our flowers on. So my verse are fine. I'm just going to bring Winnie the Pooh in and place him down like that. Because I don't really want him stamping on the flowers. So I'll put one of them there. One of them there. On there, and so one off, and that'll do. Don't need any more. stamps and bring that back in and we'll stamp the birds and I'm going to stamp them here just move that just in case Fine. Now, the word happy birthday or the sentiment happy birthday will come from Little Ladybug. I'm just going to use the word happy birthday. going to stamp that on this little piece. And pray I stamped it straight. No. Do it again. That do Now we're going to do some colouring. Alright, with light mossy meadow, 
we're going to colour all the leaves in. With using alcohol markers, it doesn't matter if you've um, got coloured ink underneath because the alcohol markers cover it up. Got these. Right. And now we shall pick some colours. We'll have real red. What colour is this? Rich raspberry. Um, Highland Heather and Daffodil Delight. Right, let's get some of these flowers coloured. Uh, rich raspberry, what's this, light or dark? Light. Well, this is dark rich raspberry. And some dark Highland Heather. And let's colour this one in dark. Um, let's have a pinkish colour. This is light Rococo Rose and we'll just colour in them ones. And let's have a bluish, bluey greeny colour so we'll be using mint macaron on uh, 
that one. So there's our flowers all coloured in. I think that would look quite nice on the wrong one. On there. So now we've got Winnie Pooh to colour in again. So what we need is our Daffodil Delight, dark, and our blue. No, red. Um, and I used, I'm going to do a soft sea fern. That's not soft sea fern. Seaside spray blue for a pot. And I did like a Bermuda Bay. What's this one? Bermuda Bay for the pots. So then ones I don't need. I said I don't need the red. Not that one. So, get started. We will colour Pooh Bear in. And he is. It's not that one I used. This one I used. Okay, enough on this um, die. You've got lines to follow, so where is top is? It's going to be a mustardy colour bear by the looks of it. The red on his jacket on top. Going dead slow, so I don't get red on the yellow.
Oops, that. Now, as that's dried, I am going to go over this bit it's where it is marked just to add some highlight. Underneath his jumper. With the light one, I'm just going to scribble over them bits. Blend them in a bit. Oh, got the honey to colour. Now, just to do the two vases, I hope you're not bored, I'm sorry if you are. And this vase. out it didn't come out the last one right now as you can see I've got some holes on this so what I did was I actually scribbled on the card underneath but I felt it made a little bit of a mess so I am going to stick some black card for his nose and where his stitches have come out where he's come undone on his belly. And I will also stick a little bit of black card on the honey pot. So I'll just cut a bit of black card to stick on there. Let's cut that corner off. And stick that. There we have it. Take the glue off, that's showing. And 
and that will stick on there. We also need to highlight his ears. So that will stick in the garden. So let's stick this down. And we want even borders all the way around. And we're going to put Winnie Pooh on dimensionals. Let's get some dimensionals on him. some little ones put them on his feet I think I can get one on his honey pot. No, I cut it in half, that's what I did. There we are. I'm happy with that. drink of my tea. Nice. A little scrap paper we don't need. Bring this in and take all the backings off. I'll see you in half an hour. <laughs> voice for weeks now due to this silly cough I've got but doctor said it will last for could last for weeks due to my chest infection I had before Christmas all right let's pop that down there and all we've got to do now is pop this center and down all right I'm going to cut it down and I'm gonna flag it and then I'm going to get my black pen and run it round the edge and, 
and then we're going to place that there. Undimensional. So I do need them back. I'll oh, put three on. And there we have it. Oh, never did is what I did with my black pen. I just dotted his eyes. And that just made him stand out a bit. Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. And this one hasn't got any grass, which I've just seen in the camera when I've looked up and all I did to make the grass was with old olive, did some V's over one another. And just did some of the grass that's it now I'm finished hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cast please subscribe um, and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I, subs I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.